start streaming. So for two days on my desk, I've had an iPhone XS Max with no touch after water damage. And we decided that we were going to do a stream while Mark's up here teaching the November Practical Board Repair School course. And we decided that we were going to do a fun stream called Can You Replace just a single pin. So you can look at this connector in front of Mark. This is where the touch screen plugs in, the digitizer connector. And look, it's missing a pin. It's entirely corroded out of there. And we thought it'd be cool to do a stream. Now, of course, to start the stream, it would be nice to show you guys that touch doesn't work on this device. So guess what happened when we set out to start this stream? Mm. You can tell. <laughs> I, I tried some known good parts and touch worked. And it's a and this one is already solved with rule number one. You don't actually have a board problem until you know for sure that you don't have a parts problem. So after we plugged in a known good screen, despite the fact that this line, the the uh, it, what is it called? AOP to racer transmission. transmission. AOP, so the, the CPU to the touch driver chip the, is uh, transmission is incommunicado. That apparently doesn't matter for touch on the tennis mech. So please be advised that we are going to still replace that connector pin just for the fun of replacing <laughs> a connector pin so that we can uh, see if we can uh, get this device to, I don't even know what we're, what's the point. Totally just for fun. Just get, it, for, get it to continue to have touch. To continue to have touch, <laughs> right. Yeah, maybe it wouldn't actually accept the passcode or something. Who knows? All right. Nevertheless, Mark, you saw this. You said, uh, I, would, I decided to, to do this stream because you said, I can get a pin in there. Yeah, no problem. So uh, what's your plan? Uh, so I'm going to um, cut this little bit of plastic away right okay. there. So that's, de are you sure that's not just burnt and black? Yeah, that's it's actually that is plastic. missing. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely no no pin in there at all. Because it looks like pretty corroded around there. No, there's a piece of the pin left, but yeah, none of the pin is there. But there's still a chunk of it left soldered to the pad. Oh, and that's inside why, that's this why plastic. we have touch, just totally, totally works. <laughs> All right, but it, so this was a pretty serious water damage and it's kind of corroded in lots of places. And so this is kind of the last spot to fix. Have you done this kind of work before? Uh, no, I don't think I've, I can't remember ever putting a single pin in a connector before. I have. Yeah? That's the, you got to be truly lazy to be <laughs> like, eh, I don't really want to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just put that single pin well, in there. See, oh, I've I, done that before. I've always kept my uh, micro soldering component kit from iPad Rehab Supply <laughs> on hand. So every time I've needed a connector, it's been right it's there. It's just been right there. Yeah. I can see I, that you make a compelling case. If you want to be like Mark and never have to do this job where you're replacing a single pin, go to store.ipadrehab.com and pick up the Mark Schaefer component <laughs> kit, which has everything that you could ever need. All right, carry on, what's your plan? So where are you gonna come up with another pin? Because all these connectors are often like a little bit different. You know what that mm -hmm. looks like? That looks like iPad mini LCD connector. In um, fact, here, I'm gonna grab you one. I'm here, take man boy. See if it is. See if the pin shape is the same. That looks, that looks the same to me. Uh, no. What do you mean? Not no. the same. No? The no, pins? This, they're the, like in, where, covered where, with the plastic? Where it comes up and over, like that's wider. That that section right there is wider <sighs> than... Ah, where'd it go? Oh god, I've lost it. <laughs> <laughs> it has less yeah, ability. Definitely, definitely a little wider than that. All right, fine. Not going to work. Fine. Carry on. All right. How about mini digitizer? It looks like it's nope. so the same. No, that's definitely not. Yeah, but, you know, other than a little plastic middle part. So with connector work, in my experience, a lot of these devices use the same connector. And in fact, I think it kind of makes a fun game to play match this connector. So I know for sure that um, I have... I've looked at connectors that I've had that are missing or damaged that you, you know, on a newer device that you can't source. And we have solved uh, cases before by taking like an 
iPhone 4S connector and putting it on like the daughter board of an iPad Pro. We've taken, uh, you know, like a dock connector from an actual physical dock and used that as a substitute for some sort of an onboard screen connector in another device. I remember taking on the back of the, of the iPad mini 4 LCD, there's a little tiny connector that I can remember harvesting. I don't remember what job it was for anymore. And then I, and then my favorite is, it was, I think, your idea to take a long connector that was missing, probably iPad Pro, mm -hmm. and to take two similar short connectors, cut them in half, and marry them each together in order to make one long connector. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of creativity <laughs> that you can have if you're missing a connector or you need to do some connector rework. So, Mark, get this job done so that we can get the hell home. All right, so we've got over here a front camera connector that's basically the exact same design just a little longer uh, and this is a data job so we are not worried about front camera so we'll so you're going to harvest a pin from this same board from the front camera connector yes so originally you were going to harvest you were looking for like an nc pin mm -hmm on the connector that you could just move from spot A to spot yeah, B. Yeah, I was hoping one of these pins would be NC, uh, but there are none, and there's a couple of grounds, but eh. By the way, iPhone XS Max, no touch, is fairly common. We've seen a few cases. So this is one where you're definitely going to want to have your diode mode map so that you can check to see, is this really a screen problem? Most of us don't really have a ton of XS Max screens laying around. So if your screen goes bad, your test screen and the customer screen's bad, then how do you really know? So diode mode is something that you want to do. I made a diode map myself today since I did not find diode mode measurements in ZXW. Maybe they're there and I didn't really look that hard. Um, but I made a diode mode map and I'm going to put it for everyone to use at the iPad Rehab Forum. So you can head over, even if you're not a subscriber, to forum at iPadRehab.com. So go to iPadRehab.com and click our forum link. And then in the section of the forum that is right here, it takes a village, the community knowledge-based contributions. In here, this is where you can add stuff. Like if you ever drive yourself crazy uh, working on something and you've worked it all out and you kind of want to brag a little bit, then just come tell everybody over here in It Takes a Village and help me flag and delete all the forum spam. That would be a fantastic thing to do <laughs> to support the micro soldering community. And let's click this off so that we can see what Mark is doing. So you're cutting away the plastic. Yep, I've cut away the plastic and now I'm just kind of lightly using the razor blade to get some of the corroded gunk off of the pad. And now I'll add some flux and just touch it up with an iron a little bit. Chris Long says it takes a mark, <laughs> not, a, not a village. All right. Enough chat, do the job, says Bill, Bill Looney. Oh, sorry. Looney Bill. Looney, yes, boss. Looney Bill's got places to be. Yeah. You didn't have time for this crap. Yeah. How about you just, you know, figure out how to, to just drop that in there. All right. So now you're going to get rid of the little nubbin that's left. Uh, it was pretty much it disintegrated when I touched it. So just kind of prepping that pad now for a new connector. That's really interesting, pin. though, because most of the time, if you have a seriously corroded pin, usually that pin is important. For example, if it's a backlight pin, that's going to be the one that's corroded. <laughs> And uh, you're going to end up having to, it's rare that the pin that is corroded kind of doesn't matter for the function of that connector. So that's a, that's a little bit of a surprise. In fact, I, I think in the iPhone 10 that I have fixed that line before from pad damage. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. It could be an interesting case that we saw in the course this week of Sometimes aftermarket screens work differently mm, yeah. than the original screen. So we had a case in practical board repair school this week that we saw where there was a 1V8 LCM uh, iPhone 6S uh, line was open. So that means on an original screen, you're not going to have image. However, on the aftermarket screens, 
it didn't care about that line and it did have image because they had a different biology. We're gonna guess that the aftermarket screens actually share 1v8 touch going into the screen with 1v8 image, that they just kind of have a jumper connecting those two lines. So the fact that 1v8 LCM was open kind of didn't matter and it could still produce image. So it may be that our, our test screen is an aftermarket LCD because of this reason, that aftermarket LCDs will sometimes, uh, or it's a, I think it's an aftermarket OLED screen for 10S Max. So they will sometimes um, be a little more forgiving because they're you know kind of uh, not as fastidious maybe as the, as the OEM original screen. All right, so, so there's this is pin. the harvested one. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that like, that looks like something that the blacksmith makes at Furnace Town. <laughs> and it takes him all day. I mean, look at, look at how the, I think what's important about the structure of the pin is how grabby it is. Like, it doesn't yeah. look nearly that like, come here, little kid, get in the van, as it, <laughs> as, it, as it seems like it would. All right, so that's the harvested pin that Mark is going to... Transfer now. Now that that pins out, we could, if we want to, compare and see would would the iPad Mini LCD pin have worked? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, we, we can do that. And don't sneeze. <laughs> That's so okay. with the, with the iPhone phone. 6s, for example, you'd be really surprised how minor of a of a sort of pin damage it takes just to nudge it out of the way so that it doesn't make contact. All right. Let's see. How close would this connector have been? Tearing up, tearing up my old iPad mini. All right. <laughs> Chris Long wonders what kind of machine makes these. It's a machine that's made of tiny little blacksmiths. It's kind of like leprechaun blacksmiths and they kind of live in this machine and they just kind of hammer these things out. But they have a tiny little fire <laughs> and they just make it. All righty. Hashtag curious. All right. Aftermarket gives no beep. All right. I like this move. I've been bulldozing these connectors off and soldering by hand. Bill has places to be. He doesn't have time for this crap. When can I be a mod? You can be a mod as soon as you, as you come up with something to tell old Bill to cool his jets. Here you go. You can be a mod right now. Tally's 303. All right, come on. All right. Get off of there. We're going we're gonna to lose a pad here. <laughs> lose a pad? Yeah, I think I might have picked a ground. Oh, it doesn't really matter. That that mini yeah. probably doesn't even have a oh, PMIC that, on it. That mini's seen better days. That mini's been around the block. Is it Man Boy? Uh, no, what? it's it's one of the old student oh, yeah. minis. That, that's mini. This mini looks like it's been on fire. Pretty sure it All has. Right. All the right, one, let's the see. The one on the left is the one from this connector. It looks, you need to focus your mic, your oh. scope cam. All right, let me get this. I think it's, I'd like to just register a complaint. I don't think that there should be that much difference. But if you want to smoosh it up a little bit, do you stretch <laughs> it out? Do you stretch it out so that it would <laughs> No, like I didn't. It's exactly as I said, that, that section it's, that goes over it, the... It's fine. Yeah. Stick it in there. No. We're using the right one. Is that the doorbell? What the hell is that? And Sunday installed a doorbell. Well, yeah, I know, but no, that's not it. Are I think sure? that's a phone I fixed back there. Well, I'm too old to tell where that sound is going. All right. All right. We're Can you finish this up this job in four minutes? Uh, Probably. All right, let's make it happen because that right. that phone's going to drive me crazy. All right. <laughs> All right. I had leprechauns do it for me, but my cats ate them. All right. So is this the? Are you putting it in now? Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> have you? How many times have you been here in New York to teach the course? And something that you fixed back at home started wigging out. And have you trained Cecilia on, you know, opening up phones to disconnect batteries so that they don't make uh, alarms in the middle of the night? So that's happened a lot. A lot. Mm. A lot, yeah. And uh, she does not 
she's she's not cool with turning screwdrivers at all. You, so do you just not put in the, the, the bottom panel lobes until you get back on all your jobs just in case? Um, no, she just wraps them in a towel and puts them in the bottom drawer of the desk. <laughs> <laughs> and when you get home, that's the first thing you have to do is dig everything out of there. Yeah. All right, so now you're installing the new... That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to work. Yeah. In fact, I think if you ultrasonic it up, you wouldn't even know which one is has been replaced. Aside from the little missing plastic there. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, there's that. Now let's see if it still has touch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right. to go with it better. Yeah, I know. It better because we've been here. Did you know that I, I uh, left for work at 630 in the morning? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I did know that. Oh, you did? Because... Because you heard a herd of elephants tromping <laughs> around in the kitchen? So yes. Like, yeah. Yes, I heard I heard walking in the kitchen. Yeah, that's what Jeff said. He was like, yeah, I used to really like going down in the basement until like this herd of elephants moved in, which is any time that anyone else is awake. <laughs> and that's kind of not cool. All right, yep. very nice. All very right. nice work, Mark. All right, let's see. Let's see. Mark's too cool to have his hat on forwards. Really? I don't think I've... I've never seen Mark wear a hat backwards. I do it sometimes, like, when I'm trying to make the kids think I'm cool and hip. Really? Yeah. Mm. Well, guys, I went... I was cool and hip. I was the hippest 45-year-old <laughs> last night at the... True story. She actually true story, was. Hip, hippest mom at the middle school career night because I'm the only one that went over there with a YouTube play button. <laughs> All right, so Mark has now put the screen on and he's booting it up. There you go. Now, if this doesn't have touch, I think that will, that will actually be kind of funny. What will you do if it doesn't have touch? Take that pin back out, duh. <laughs> <laughs> If it doesn't have touch, what I'm going to do is get up and find that phone, and I'm, gonna, I'm about to make it not have touch. All right, does it have touch? Oh! <laughs> Mark killed touch! No! Hold on. Hold, hold on, wait a minute. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, your there. screen, it's, it's, this is your screen. What are you talking about? Fault. No, my screen is totally legit. All right. <laughs> Wow. That is how to kill touch, ladies and gentlemen. How <laughs> to take a phone missing a pin that still has touch and turn it into a phone with a pin that doesn't have touch. Better go fish. By the way, when I when I put that screen on the first time, it didn't have touch, which is what made me look in the connector and realize that it didn't have a pin. All right, here, mm -hmm. go fish. Here we go, round mm, two. Give it another try. It's every other time you put the screen on, touch I see. works. It, it has to, yeah. okay. It's got to like warm up a little bit. <laughs> All right, we'll see. All right, let's see. And if it doesn't, well done. I guess he touched it wrong. Oh, man. Uh, press harder. All right. Yeah, maybe it like maybe it's just like a aftermarket screen and you got to have like a real, it's not very sensitive, right? Boss oh Man is gosh. buying the Kianli thermal cam. Oh, oh no. no, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. In fact, you could probably get one really cheap from Larry Davis, uh, Larry Johnson. We're uh, uh, about to do our touch video. I think you might want to let it like chill out or something. No, it's it's not doing it. It's not oh, touching. Look at that. Dare you take that pin out and see if it makes a difference? <laughs> I kind of feel like you should. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. If something doesn't work, then you got to reverse steps. Yep. What's Go the worst back. that could happen? Touch stops working? Uh, the, the image stops working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go shut that phone up. What What the heck is it? Are you sure it's not a doorbell? No, that that is a, definitely not a doorbell. <sighs> All right. So what's it going to be? Are you looking? Are you looking for flux? Hmm. Let's look. Looks really nice. I mean, it looks super pretty. Absolutely beautiful. Are you sure you didn't like stretch it out so something else isn't touching? I don't know. 
Yeah, well that, you know what you should do? Proof that screen. Here, I got another 10S Max right here. Okay. Right here, here you go. This guy got recovered today. 100% fixed. 100% tested working. Is the native battery okay? Yeah. All right. Pretty sure. I am going, Mark is going to. Oh, hey, look at that. It's All right, show. All right, here. Oh, where's my hand cam? All right, so. So this is. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, so no touch on the top half. But we have touch on the bottom half. Hmm. Okay. All right. What is, what is that one though? I mean, it wasn't always like that because I totally used that screen to recover that guy. Well, this. Uh, you better stop putting your like voodoo on my screen. <laughs> gonna... I like you to behave the same way every time. How mm. about straighten out the screen flex? Straighten straighten out any creases in the screen flex. Well, there's no creases. Why would there be creases? Well, I don't know. There used to not be creases. What kind of person would put creases in their screen flexes? I don't know. All right, let's see what happens here. <laughs> damn phone. Don't you just like, like every time it's like you think it's going to stop, but <clears throat> nope. I'm going to go find it. All right, yell out if that has touch or not. Okay, I will. I, it's just too, I can't take it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go on a hunt. It's going to be on the, on the bar part in front of. On the bar. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's this one. Mofo. No, there's no touch. Still no touch. Well, that screen is a piece of crap then. Yep. And we definitely don't have another one. Oh. Wait, did you touch? Look at the screen under the microscope. Why don't you, like, get the cooties off of that screen connector? <laughs> what? <laughs> I hear a lot of laughing. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Found it! What? Man. <laughs> it's Wait, wait, wait. Is that the one from oh, the mini or is that no, no. the original one? That's the original one. Is so it all it, is it is it, it all corroded? The, Put it back. The part it. the part that that went oh, yeah. over the plastic it's, was corroded yeah. and is gone. Pin transfer effect. Yeah. Oh, which reminds me, I need to thank somebody <laughs> for my sign that I got a while ago, which this story reminds me of. <laughs> yeah. This is appropriate for this stream. We're going to yeah. put it. So thank you to whoever sent me this. Jess's Janky Shed Shop. <laughs> yes. Uh, my Janky Shed Shop was from this exact effect, a pin transfer effect on an iPad mini digitizer connector back in the day. A customer sent the job, and it was... Missing a pin in the digitizer connector, so we replaced the digitizer connector, tested it, touch is working, sent it out to him, typical job. He got it, and his original screen, when he pressed it in, transferred the pin that had been taken out of the original connector and smashed it into the new connector that we had just put on, and touch didn't work. So he calls up, what kind of janky ass shit shop are you running? <laughs> so we had him send it back and then we were like, oh, you got, he had two pins shoved into the connector. Yeah. And sent him a picture. He didn't believe it. <laughs> yep. Janky, All right. Janky shed shop. All right. So, now let's see. Hey, you solved the mystery of half touch. I solved the mystery of where the mystery, did the rest of that pin go? The mystery of half touch is solved. Half touch on the iPhone XS Max is caused by having some random pin shoved into the connector. <laughs> well, all right. All right, carry on. All right. Okay. Uh-oh, I, I accidentally it. lost the stream. What happened? What happened, recap, is that we found the missing pin <laughs> in the screen connector, which hopefully will explain why this had no touch. And hopefully it will do that so that 
Mark doesn't have to reverse his beautiful handiwork. And now we're going to find out. All right, so which one is this? Is this the one you just fixed? This is our fixed one. The one that has the, the new pin. Yeah, this is new now pin. Now featuring a brand new pin. And touch. Now featuring touch. Now featuring the correct number of pins. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's not an extra one floating inside right, the connector. That's right. No little straggler pins. Will it have touch? Will we be able to go home? I don't know. Stay tuned in any <laughs> second. Will it even boot? Or does it require that passenger hitchhiker pin in order to even boot up? Because it's taking a long time. All right. Survey says. <laughs> oh, we're going to be here all night. No. Mark. Or did we kill the screen? Or did we kill the goddamn screen? This is why it's always a good idea to have more than just one known good. Wait, do we have another one? I'm gonna go on a hunt. All right. I'm gonna. I'll be back. Mark's gonna proof that screen in the other device and try to hurry it up because otherwise the screen's gonna be too long and nobody's gonna ever watch it. That's true. That is true. All right. Let's see. What's in here? 10s. Max. That's going to be hard to find. Right along. That's going to be hard to find. Mm. All right. Come on, scream. Work. Work, dude. All right, the screen is working on the other 10S working Max. Working like 100% working? Yeah, it's letting me put in passcode all the numbers. Top and bottom? Yep. All right, well then put it back in and make it work. You know what you should do? Take that pin back out? I don't know about that, but you could, you could, you could spruce up the other you could spruce up the, yeah, the other, I thought of that. you know, relatively crunchy looking um, connectors, connector pins. All right, so oh, that one makes me first sad. thing you're going to do is just get these guys a little. All right, let's take a look at what Mark is doing. What is Mark doing? Yes, so this has, oh, oh broken. That was a really soft pin. Yeah. Ah, corroded. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can't see pulled out. Ding. Yeah, so that is look at look at that. Yeah, that's a little spongy. Alright, we're gonna find anything else that's like that. Okay. Tough. Tough. Seems alright. Don't hurt him too much. Yeah. It's interesting that, like, just how dynamic these connectors really are. Like, they're not just, like, the letter U. Like, they're, they're yeah. this, like, intricate little shape. That'd be a cool, like, logo to make for your business. The shape, the, like, little S-looking shape. <laughs> so these things have to, like, grab. It's more than you think. And tiny little nuance like this can make or break a connector... We've, we've had a lot of them that will come in with like no short, no open, voltage is at the thing, but the thing, the, the, the function doesn't work. And then if you end up just kind of reworking the connector a little bit and pull those pins out, then it'll start working. Are you going to do another one? Uh, should I do another one or should I just move the one that's there? What do you mean move the one that's there? The one that's there that wasn't there earlier oh. and it worked. <laughs> I'll, I think I'll you get should one. you should clean that one up and just try to. No, like, uh, this one is too. It's it's corroded through at okay. some point in okay. it. Okay. Well, now, what does that? Which pin is that? And we'll look it up while you're while one, you're. One, two, it. three, four. Four on the bottom row. Yeah. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go look it up and see. What is the fourth one on the bottom row? And it is AP to racer reference clock. Sounds important. Oh, yeah, you're going to need that. Yeah, everybody likes to have a good clock. I mean, racer maybe doesn't have to actually, you know, listen, but he's got to be on, right? He doesn't have to actually receive any of those transmissions. So we're going to put that one back to right, and then touch is going to work. And we're going to go home. Yes. And that's the deal. While you guys are still with us here in the stream, guess what iPad Rehab is doing for Black Friday? Hey, thanks, Tim Sherman, for five bucks. Almost five bucks. Four ninety nine from Tim Sherman. Thanks, Tim. You to me. For, uh, for Black Friday, iPad Rehab is Ooh, don't going tell to him. do... Don't tell him. Not it's yet. It's going to do something. Something big, something exciting, something <laughs> that we've never done before. We will tell you soon. Get ready for Black Friday. Rodrigo says, take away the whole connector, damn it. No! No, no. we will not. Rodrigo. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. This connector is married to this board. This We're connector gonna... is serialized, just in case you know every one of the pins in here has a serial number on it. So there's no no divorce is happening. We're gonna work things out. <laughs> We're gonna work things out. That's right. Nobody's going to. Can you remove some more underfill on the writer side pin? Let's see. But the pin next to the one he put in is corroded. It doesn't seem to bother him. I'm pretty laid back guy. Yeah. Takes a lot to bother me. We don't really see color. <laughs> <laughs> you racist. <laughs> right. Is this job done yet? So the, the, we were going to like leave super early. To address what he's saying, I the one that is discolored um, would bother me if it... If it if were it, corroded. Yeah, if it felt soft and like, and, uh, you know, not sturdy when I poked at it, but... Uh, I gave it a chance to fail, and it and didn't. he said, I'm good. Put me in, coach. Yeah. yeah, so discoloration is different than corrosion. So it's oxidized maybe a little bit, but um, in general, connectors don't seem to be bothered by a little bit of, of uh, gentle oxidation on these pins. I mean, it seems like they should. Well, doesn't that mean it can't really connect to to the connector, well, it doesn't have to, a practical effect. You can see some really, really like blackened pins that still connect and work just fine as long as they are making contact there on the foot. So the foot's important and the grabbiness is important. The color of it is not important. Hey, thanks, R Revival Tech Repair for a $2 donation. Thanks so much. How much flux do you need to fill up a bathtub asking for a friend? Um, that would be... Uh, how many How many gallon bathtub be, is it? Right. That would be more than uh, than all the flux at store.ipadrehab.com. That's for sure. All right. Alrighty. That's in there good now. That's what she said. So, is, I mean, I'm just going to change the name of the stream to That's what she said. Yeah. No touch. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, and now when touch doesn't work, we're going to say, you win some, you lose some. Yep, and, <laughs> and good night. And then that'll be a good night to you guys. All righty. Get the burned up flux out of there. Yeah, burned up flux, that is a big deal. I'd rather have no burned up flux, and I'll live with the discolored pins. All right, let's go head to the hand cam, everyone. To the hand cam, where we are going to watch Mark... Plug it in. Interesting now that I think about it, because I did also use this screen earlier today on Devin's 10s Max, mm -hmm. and it didn't have touch. Huh. And his really didn't seem like it would have anything wrong, and diode mode was all fine. I remember telling him it's probably the screen, like maybe a screen incompatibility. Or maybe a pin jammed into it. It could have been. I mean, <laughs> who's to say? You know, I don't know. 
So you just proved that that screen does work. So it's not a dead mm -hmm. screen. Yeah. It, well, it works with, with this phone. With that phone, yes. And it worked with this one earlier, so it should still. It should. But will it? Yes. Yay! All right. Yay! We Touch did it! Works. Hooray! Here, type in his passcode so you can turn it up to full brightness. What? What is, is this passcode? It's on the paper over there. And look at that! $50! Your Touch IC and Audio IC vids were wildly helpful with making customer happy, not having to get a new phone or go to Apple and lose data, trying to keep my shop alive. Hashtag small local shop. Thank you very much. Mwah. Revival Tech Repair. That is a fabulous uh, donation, and we really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It does take, uh, it is, it is oh, wow. a, a pain to make some of these, to make some of these videos sometimes, like right now. <laughs> <laughs> when things work. All right, so let's see. So Mark yep. turned up the... Look at that. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Mark! All right. Yes, redemption. And that means it's time to go home. So there you go, folks. <laughs> Lots of lessons on this one. Number one, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So not everything <laughs> that looks bad is bad. So on this one, it, it did have touch before we started the this repair. So now we know that that pin really isn't necessary, even though it was obviously gone. Number two, if you are missing a pin that you need, you can just harvest one from another connector and you can be creative. A lot of times you'll find a matching connector on devices that you wouldn't even think would be a match. And then uh, number three is in addition to creativity of the connector, those connectors, those pins are not just U-shaped. They're these funky looking scrolls that need to be grabby. So if you can't find any other problem and you were like, why is this not working? Then do what Mark did and kind of test the pushiness of each of those pins and make sure they're all grabby. It's really common with like 6S backlight, people measuring and testing, they'll mash those pins in. So make sure they're all in the right position. And that will help you as you troubleshoot those connector jobs. And for us, it's, time to go home one more thing yeah if you have a connector that's missing a pin check the last thing you plugged into it yeah exactly last <laughs> lesson look for that hitchhiker pin effect and you might want to be careful when you notice the connector's missing a pin better find that pin before it makes your 20 minute stream turn into a 40 minute stream <laughs> all right don't forget ipad rehab is doing something really awesome really cool that we can't wait to tell you about and maybe about a week. Not really sure, ironing out some, some details. So stay tuned, Black Friday is going to be really fun at iPad Rehab, and we will see you next time. <laughs>